So brakes first, I reckon. Let's do our drum brakes first. I've got the brakes in mind I want to use as well. Yeah, I'm going to try this one. Bambara, Shack Up. Also the Scorpio brake. I'm quite into that at the moment. I'm going to turn warp off or deal with these brakes. I'm probably going to work at the brake tempo. So it's how long is it? It's four bars. Two, three, four, one, two, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, four. Yeah, like four bars long. So whether or not I want to use the whole thing, I, I want to chop it hit by hit, and I'll show you how I, I'll show you like a good workflow method to do that in the Amigo from Ableton, because it's not necessarily evident how you're going to do that. We'll try the whole thing. Okay, so I'm warping it at the, the temp, rough tempo of the break the project is at. And what I'm going to be doing here now is like, I am going to slice it to MIDI. So I'm just going to look through where all of the hits are. See these transient markers? This is then going to feed into how it chops up in Amigo. I'll show you what I mean by doing it. All right, cool. So we'll right click and we'll slice to new MIDI track by transient. The, the thing about this break is it has been like tightened up. There's no silence at either end of it. We're just going to chop it up like like this. Yeah, we'll just slice to MIDI because I will hear in slicing to MIDI if all of the transient transients of work so 44 slices right what's this like done a pretty good job i think i just quantized it there i'm just going to legato everything so all the notes continuous and then pull up the velocity so we'll hear what it's like now as well Okay, that's, yeah, that's good. So if it, it, the MIDI, it's pulled out all of the MIDI correctly as to where these, like each hit of the drum is, which which is going to come, I'm going to use to like follow along the same process in the Amigo, slicing it hit by hit. Right, so in the Amigo, I'm going to load, I'm going to load the break as well. Am I going to resample it? I'm just, no, I'm just going to have it like this. Okay, so we want it in slice mode, right? And then we're going to go auto slice. And now I can pull over our MIDI from this channel here that we've used just slicing it to sampler by transient and then copy this midi over and we'll hear we'll need to put it up um like to c3 which is where amigo plays back from c3 midi note so you can hear it's not it's not sliced it's not it's not caught every hit threshold division okay so we can increase the sensitivity which is awesome here with this threshold division if i do it like that right down at two what's that like That's pretty good though. That's done. That's that's better. So there's like a hit here. If I just double click that, I'll add a slice in here. We don't. We've got like an extra one there. We can take out. This is the kind of thing. Once you do it once, you know you want, want to make sure you save anything like this. Okay. So what's happening there? This is where you, this is where it can get quite fiddly. But it, I I think it's worth the extra effort. Okay, it's like kind of got these like that, I think. Hmm. I'm just gonna pull this up here so it starts from that. So it hasn't done this. <laughs> right, okay. I would definitely want that to be an extra hit there. I'd want that to be like that. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to just move these up. Cool. I kind of want those to just be one as well. So I'm just going to lengthen these MIDI notes out. Hopefully this, this is actually easier than in sampler because I don't have to move slices about. So if I take these off. Right, just pull these up like that. OK, 
Okay, cool. I think we've got it. Let's let's take it back to the top here. Awesome. Cool. So now now <laughs> that's just like stage one. So now now I'm gonna wanna go through and just like check check how close on the money they they are. If I'm finding it's clicky, I'll just go and try and like clear it up afterwards. By clicky, I mean it's like it's not the start point of anyone's slice is not on a zero point volume wise. So it's slicing where there is actually sound being played and that causes a, an audible click. Well, it's not always audible. It's not always super clear that there is a click happening. But OK, let's say something here, you know, you could we bring that right in the money. I think this will be worth it when we speed when we speed things up. I'm not going to work at this tempo. This is a bit of like a paradox thing, really. Here it's like dragging a bit, which is fine because that's probably because the pitch is a bit down. So here, there is, yeah, okay. I'm kind of quite used to doing this with breaks, so like this feels like I, I trust the process. If you know, it, it can feel like oh, this isn't going to be worth it. This is going to take too long every time, but I I think it is worth it. And the more you do it, the quicker you get at it. sounding pretty good already this is definitely fiddly but once you've done it you can save it you can save all the patterns as well amigo is uh it feels like it's got like some snappiness as to like where it, it looks for zero points it feels like it does i reckon this is going to sound great when we start chop when we start making new patterns of our own got some nice hi-hats some really nice kicks in this break by the sound of it uh, we've just got to loop it So that's definitely like a nice little workaround in Ableton how to chop slice by slice in the Amigo. Just do it to a sampler first and then you have the MIDI. So you don't have to try and recreate the pattern in MIDI from nothing. I'm actually going to go to like loop, have loop on for each slice, have it ping pong. So you can mess with like the sample rate. If you pull that down a bit, see what it sounds like. Oh, yeah. Crusty. Love it. All right, I'm going to call this master, this clip, and I'll just rename this like, I usually put the date, 24, 11, 24, is it? Oh. Okay, and maybe we'd want to up the tempo at this point to probably like maybe 170 or something. Right, so some of those sound a bit ridiculous, but um, now I'm going to start making some patterns. So I usually just do that on the timeline because I can just slice up little phrases of it and stuff like that. This is just a method I've kind of developed over time. You know, you've got this nice. That's a nice little kick, isn't it? You know, you could have a nice two step. Keep it simple for now. Cool, that's cool. I'm gonna duplicate that. It's a starter. Pull this over again, because we've got some more snares and stuff. So I'm just going to like feed, feed in bits of this, bits, bits of break. Usually have like eight working eight bar phrases. that and maybe I would bring the pitch up a little sounded pretty tight 
I can work this to create another loop from the same from with what we've already made. So I, t I tend to find like the, the the phrasing kind of reveals itself as you're chopping. So like this little bit here, like this. So we can maybe like work with this again and like just put it in this snare here. Feel like that could be nice you can take all of these tiny little snares you could do something a bit more sparse i feel right so we've got like another flavor there of a break of like variation another eight bar loop which is great so you know the one thing I like doing is like shortening MIDI notes. Um, like this. Turn the gate on. Yes. That's so like cool. Cool. All right. Should we try the same thing with the Scorpio then? Okay. So this is like the same one two nine so we'll go back to working at that tempo yeah awesome this is only two bars we can do this in no time they're like doubles aren't they you know like okay so i'm gonna go command shift i and insert a transient here i'm probably not even gonna try and chop these last bits you know These are like doubles, aren't they? I'm just going to right click slice new MIDI, transient to sampler. Okay, that. Just have a listen. Okay, that's all right. That'll do. Okay, so we'll get a next instance of Amigo and we're going to do this Scorpio break. Okay, and we've got the MIDI here. We'll see what this is like. <laughs> okay, no. Auto slice. And we're gonna have to pull that sensitivity right down, probably. Okay, the threshold division. Oh, let's give it a listen. Put the MIDI up. There we go. All right. Let's just have a look at what's going on here. It's missing something, what's it missing? It's almost like that has got like, and now we've got like another little hit here. So this is, this is long. And then we want this here. But this needs to be short. Am I right? Is that working? Yeah, do I make that longer so it's like... Let's just keep going. That should be here though. I think. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay, let's just tighten up the hits now. I'm not going to, probably not going to use that bit right at the end. This is a good sounding break, the Scorpio break. One thing I'm used to is like the patterns, like making drum patterns. So I can kind of hear what's going to work before I start chopping it up. Got some nice snares in this break though. Really big ringing snares, you know, like here for this hit. This is some sort of um, flam, double stroke hit really on the drum. 
okay, it's not terrible, but I'm going to stop worrying about the double strokes at the end and stuff. Let's pull this over now. We'll make some loops of this too. And we'll, we'll work at our jungle tempo too of what, like 170 or whatever it was we were at. See, it's got that nice weighty snare. Use this little make your own little shuffles. I'm just looking for like the, the these tiny little hits. That's got not a lot of noise in it. Might just use hits of this, do you know what I mean? 